What's up guys, right now I'm on the way to do some things at a house that these people are trying to sell. Last week a realtor friend of mine called me, he's like, hey, I'm selling this house for this lady and she needs some things done, can you do them? I was like, yeah, sure, when do you need them done by? He's like, well, within a week, we're trying to list this house at the end of this week currently. And I was like, that's short notice. Um, I do have some things on my schedule, but let me see what I can do. So I've been dealing with his client since then. I went and looked at the job last week towards the end of the week and was able to get her a quote pretty quickly and she was happy with that. I kind of explained to her that it was short notice and I did have to move some things around on my schedule to fit her in uh, quicker so that they could get things done listed or whatever. But since I had to move some things around, uh, I charge a little bit more than I usually would for these type of things, which is probably about market value. So um, I'm going to do pretty well on this project today. And I kind of like that. And it's making me realize that, yes, I can charge more for this stuff. And um, people are willing to pay for someone who shows up and actually does work. So I'm actually pulling up to the house right now. Uh, let me get out. Let me get in there. And uh, I'll show you guys what we got today. So it is a little messy in here just because they're in the process of moving. Upstairs I have three doors to replace. Right here, gonna replace this door. What else do I have to do? Oh, and here somewhere I gotta replace a toilet. Nothing's actually wrong with the toilet, just the back broke, or the top of the bowl. So, um, she said she looked for a top and couldn't find one, so just replace the whole toilet. Oh, also upstairs I'm gonna be replacing a ceiling fan, and then some other really small things, super easy, except for outside, on this side of the house, I'm gonna be replacing some fence. There's actually a gate there, and I don't know why they would put a gate right here, just cause it's so, doesn't make any sense. There's a gate on the other side. So right here I'm just replacing just with fence and that's gonna look really good give it a little bit of curb appeal from the road they won't see that fence falling apart behind me also i got all the materials yesterday afternoon on top of the truck which is four doors the stuff for the fence and then she's providing the ceiling fan and the toilet so let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna start with the doors um do most everything that i can that's inside and get that done first before I get dirty. The toilet and the ceiling fan actually won't be here until like lunchtime. In an ideal world, I'd have everything done inside first before I go outside and get dirty, but it always doesn't work out that way. So I don't think I've ever done doors on the channel. They're actually super easy, especially with my Dewalt router that you'll see in a second. But basically, all I do is line the door up, especially when I'm replacing one. And just mark where the hinges go and cut them out. shuts perfectly and I was told to use the same hardware this one did not have one so hopefully she'll bring me one and then this one over here it's got the door handle but not the strike so told her to bring me two hopefully she does but I'm gonna keep rolling with the doors and I can install the hardware later Third door hung, this is the first one I hung with hardware, so it shuts perfectly. That was a third door out of four, and now I gotta go hang a new pantry door. The last door is hung, and it's actually not the pantry, it's like a closet. That's the pantry door. But anyways, doors are hung, and just waiting on the two door handles for upstairs, but that's fine because I have plenty of other stuff to do. Just got done moving some materials around and doing some small miscellaneous things, but I'm pretty sure the toilet and the fan will be here 
really soon, so I thought I'd go ahead and get the old toilet up and out of the way, ready for the new one. Putting all the materials that are broken and done with that I'm replacing all beside the road because my plan is to come back with old blue to pick that up just so I don't have to fool with getting all that stuff on there because I already had to do it with the doors and the wood for the fence and I don't really want to do it again. It'll just be easier to throw it in the back of old blue and take it to the dump. The toilet has arrived, time to set it. Just cut the water back on to the toilet. I'm gonna flush it while I continue to finish the toilet and then while I hang the light and do the doorknobs up there, I'll flush in between just to make sure it doesn't leak because a lot of times it leaks um, where that wax ring kind of seals it up. I've had them leak even the day that I install them. So I like to flush a bunch of times just to make sure it's not leaking. No leaks so far. And that's how I like it. And another flush. DJ Cow. Uh. Like is done and works. So now on to doing some more miscellaneous things around the house. So I had a couple small things to do like this trim work right here. Also some of the AC supply vents were sagging and just needed to be screwed back up and just a couple other things that really weren't worth videoing. I remember when I first started working with the general contractor like one of my first weeks I had to go through a house that he was remodeling and change all the doorknobs in the house. And when I got done, I just thought that was the coolest thing ever, that I had replaced doorknobs. And now they're like the easiest thing ever. But you gotta start somewhere. And that is all the doors completely done. Another one. Hey! Hey man, I'm David. I'm Dean. Nice hey. to meet you. I'm the next door neighbor. Gotcha. You doing some work for Molly? Yes sir, I am. Y'all doing some fence repair? I am. Any chance I can pay you to replace a few pickets on my fence? If I have any extra. Okay. I, I should. It's, it's How literally many is like, it? oh, probably. It's just down the side over here. Uh-huh. Uh, Maybe that one? Yep. And definitely this this one right over there. Okay. And that's really it, man. I mean, I, right. you know, if, if, uh, if you don't mind while you're doing it. Yes sir. And I'll pay you. You just tell me what, All right. you know, it went. So the neighbor just walked in. He wanted me to come look at some fence work he needed done at his house. So mine ended up with some more work from this job, which would be great. Another flush. Another one. Another one. So the toilet should be good by now. I haven't seen any leaks, so I feel good about it. So I'm done with everything in the inside. Now time to go outside and get that fence work done. I'm in outdoor work mode now. I've got the hat, got the shades, and a little bit of sunscreen on my face so I don't get sunburnt. But um, yeah, this is about to come down. New board's waiting to go up. It's hot out here guys, but I'm getting it done. There's no shade, so I'm having to make a little shade with the trash can slash camera prop and store my tools right there for the time being. But so far so good. About to get rolling with these pickets.
this is the final product of the fence it it's gonna give it a little bit more curb appeal it's kind of funny I call that hollywood a little good from the front get over here to the side of the back not so good but that's all good because it looks good from the front and that's what i was asked to do and it's time to get out of here it's really hot i'm pretty much done here besides i'm about to come right back with old blue to get those materials that i laid on the side of the road which is the materials that i took out and replaced so let's get this truck back and come back with old blue Alrighty, guys i'm in old blue got some purified water and some body armor and i have not been drinking enough water so i gotta get hydrated dump was all jammed up neither one of the bins that hold like the yard trash and all this type of stuff that I need to dump they were slammed full and they're called in another truck or whatever that brings an empty one but he said he's not looking for it today so guess I'll have to come back tomorrow and dump this stuff oh wait they're closed tomorrow so I don't know I'll come back next day they're open not being able to dump old blue was a bummer but not that big of a deal i'll get it done and just when you think the day is coming to an end you have your truck to unload but i'm gonna get this thing unloaded and prepped for tomorrow and then call it a day that was a good long hard days of work but it paid off i got paid that day which is always good and i felt really good about the whole thing in general the neighbor you saw come in in the video i ended up replacing a couple pickets for him and I told him not to worry about it, but he slid me a little cash. He also recommended me to someone for a job that I've already gone and looked at. It's for Lattice Under a Deck, and we're actually going back and forth about the details right now. So I'm pretty sure I got that job on lock. It's just getting everything sorted. So all that to say, you never know who you're going to run into or who you're even talking to. So it's always important to make a good first impression, which I always try to do. Lately, I've been really busy. Haven't been posting a lot. I'm going to quit talking about posting and actually start posting. i got some videos to edit that I just need to edit and then get out there for you guys. But enough talk about that. I actually need to do it. Uh, it's getting hot here, so that means the HVAC side of things starts picking up. And then my phone just keeps ringing for handyman stuff. So I've been pretty slammed with work, so I can't complain. I've been blessed. I feel like I've been slack lately. Obviously, I have been. haven't posted a video in over a month. Now, I still get up and go to work Monday through Friday, and I've even been working some weekends just to catch up on some work. But lately, I've had this boost of, hey, it's grind time. Let's go look at more jobs, bid more jobs. That's something I'm really bad about when I go look at a job. It just takes me a couple days to get a number when really I need to come home and get them a number that night or the next morning. So I've realized it's grind time. I'm back on my grind, I feel like, and I'm ready to hit it hard this summer. So be looking for some content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Remember to get the J-O-B, D-O-N-E. This is Dean, and I'm done.